Jesus' name, amen. I was, um, you know, um, Sunday, Becky had uh, testified, said that she had a spot, you know, on the kidney? Or kidney, or kidney, kidney. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, she said she received prayer uh, yeah. the week before a test. And then when she went to go get the test, they didn't see the spot no more. That's right. Yeah. 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 Yes, and what encourages, encouraged me about it, because after I was, I was going home, y'all you know, know I'm a reflector, I'll be thinking about the series, <laughs> I think about what y'all say and what y'all don't say, mm -hmm. <laughs> what y'all do, and, uh, and when I thought about it, the Lord reminded me, he, he said, he said, well, you know, you, you, you pray and ask for miracles, Amen. You know, right. so, you know, I'm, I'm manifesting miracles. Yes, yeah, you know? yeah, sir. Don't be surprised. Yeah. Don't be surprised. Yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's a miracle worker. Yeah. 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 So awesome. who's next? Yeah. 
also uh, remember uh, Elder David Riley. Yeah. Uh, he has to go in uh, Friday for surgery. I'll yeah. Pray for him that the Lord will uh, touch his body. Touch his body. Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. Yeah. Pray for my wife, Lord. Bless her. Pray for me as well. Also, I just want to pray for uh, Elder Grady and Elder Stephanie. Yes. Mm -hmm. Keep them lifted up in prayer. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. All right. All right, Shaniqua, you got perfect class? I'll continue to pray for my body while I go through recovery. And okay. Prepare me. Yeah. Amen. 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 Watching you, you look like you're pretty good. Don't be too good. Amen. <laughs> but you know, they continue to go to that therapy. Don't be too You can pray for you. Because yeah. yeah. you yeah. know what, Bishop? You feel good now. Yeah. But a couple years, mm -hmm. you might feel the effects from that. Yeah. So yeah. that's when it really starts to get you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So uh, let the powers be know that. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right. Let the church stand. Amen. 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 Uh, let it be hard. Pray. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we certainly thank you, Lord, and praise you for your grace, your mercy, your love, and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for being a blessing. Yes, to each and every one of us. I pray, Lord, Lord, that you would continue to keep us, and yes. that you would strengthen us, Lord, yes, Lord, that you allow your most perfect will to be done yes, in our lives. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Name Lord, of we Jesus. thank you, Lord, for salvation. We thank you for deliverance. Yes, we yes. thank you, Lord, for each and every request that's been made known yes, unto you, O God. Yes, Lord. We pray, Lord, we cast all of our cares yes, upon you. Yes, we yes. seek in your face. Hallelujah. Thank we pray, Lord. Lord, that you would bless each and every request yes. according to your riches and glory yes. by Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And Lord, knit us together in unity and in love. Help us to build up the body of Christ. Yes. This we pray in Jesus' name. Bless the Bible study on tonight. Yes. Uh, let your glory be revealed in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. Come on. Amen. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Yeah. Uh, it's good to be saved. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, yes, it is. It's good to be saved. Yeah. 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 It's good to be connected. Yeah. Amen yeah. to Jesus. Yes, sir. Hallelujah, my God. I, uh, uh, you know, we think of things <laughs> that go on in our lives. I'm thinking now, you know, I got I got uh, at least 34 years in. All right. I'm glad. Yeah. 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 That's it. Hold on. Don't let it go. Don't let it go. If you let it go, you're going to feel it's going to come back to you. Yeah. Just hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Praise the Lord, Shamika. going to be all right. Hold on. Hold on. Praise the Lord, Shamika. Thank you, team. So, we're going to have a, I'm going to let y'all go at 7 o'clock today. I have a fellowship room, a little meal. By seven o'clock. I have a term in my mind. And slip. See that? That come with age too, I think. Mm. You think it's something. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> what is this? 61? 61, I think. 61. 61, yeah. Oh, Thank you. Know, you just, 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 funds just to get me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's gonna start speeding. It's gonna start speeding. Uh -huh. <laughs> I want you to turn with me. Amen. To the book of St. James, we're going to finish up our series on prayer. Amen. 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 Prayer is essential. Amen. Yes. Amen. It's a privilege uh, that God affords unto us Amen. that we should always take advantage of. Yeah. Uh, the Bible says, come boldly to the throne of grace. Yes, sir. That you might obtain mercy 
and find grace to help you uh, in the time of need. Thank you, Lord. And, and God is always accessible unto us. He's always open and inclined. Uh, his ear is intentive to our prayer. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So that is uh, in Scripture says men should always pray yeah. uh, and not faint. That means yes. pray and don't get weary in prayer. Uh, don't stop praying. Don't stop praying. Saints, don't stop praying. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so, so as we conclude here, um, I was I was going to start at a particular verse in James, but we'll start. We'll start at verse number one, five and number one. And in this, I don't know if you've noticed uh, in, in some conclusion of epistles, especially uh, in the book of Romans and in the book of Hebrews uh, and in the book of James, um, in the last chapter, they tend to uh, summarize, you know, what they've been saying throughout the book. Yeah. Right. You know, and so they're they're hitting you. Um, I call it in my own mind sometimes with little proverbs. You know, they're telling you little proverbs, or they're hitting you right. with some commands. Mm -hmm. You know, to help you. So, so the reason why I say that is, is because you can get to the end of a chapter, and it seems to be all over the place. Right. But it's really not all over the place. They're just really summarizing. Mm -hmm. uh, they're trying to give you the summary of what they've been saying, the conclusion of the book. Yeah. Amen. That'll help somebody if you really receive that. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. See, this is a school of high learning. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. So, so, uh, and James is really doing that here in chapter number five. He's, he's concluding. So that's why they seem he's, he's cherry picking, but he's really not. He's really concluding trying to bring home some key points of his teaching. Amen. All right. Uh, James, chapter number five, verse number one. Go to now, ye rich men, mm -hmm. weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Uh -huh. Your riches are corrupted, and your garments are moth-eaten. Mm -hmm. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rest of them shall be a witness against you. Mm -hmm and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Mm. You have heaped treasure together for the last days. Now, see now, you know, he's not talking about all rich people. He's talking about wicked rich people. Mm. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. That's what he's talking about. Wicked rich people wow. that, that take advantage of the poor. Mm. Amen? Because mm. this next verse, verse number three, I'll tell you what he's talking about. I mean, number four. I'll tell you. Read. Behold, the higher are the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, crying. Mm -hmm. And the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. Yeah, so he's saying and telling the rich people, he's reminding the rich people, pay your workers. Mm -hmm. Don't mistreat them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Wow. People who are under your employment, mm -hmm. pay them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Uh, the laborer is worthy of his hire. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Glenn, don't go there and, and use it. To... <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Got the head of his scripture. Yeah, head of his scripture. Yeah. So, 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 so when the Lord calls y'all to own some businesses or you hire somebody uh, to do some work for you, you know, a private contractor, fix your house or do what? Fix your car, whatever. Pay him. Pay him. Amen. Pay him. Yeah. Amen. The Lord wants you to pay him. Am I right? Amen. Amen. All right. So let's move on. Verse 5. Uh -huh. You have lived in pleasure on the earth and been wanton. You have nourished your hearts as in a day of slaughter. Mm -hmm. You have condemned and killed the just, and he doth not resist you. All right. Now, now verse number 7, now he's, he's, he's shifting. He's shifting now to those that... that may be under oppression, those that may be going through. And he's shifting to the saints, amen, to encourage the saints, the body of Christ, amen. We all need encouragement, don't we? Amen. Uh, we all need encouragement. All right, read. 
Be patient, therefore, brethren. Now, now he's talking to the saints of God. Be until, patient. Read. Unto the coming of the Lord. Uh huh. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth, uh -huh. and hath long patience for it. All right. Until he received the early and latter rain. So he says, Be patient, therefore. That patient there, that word patience, in that particular scripture, it means to, to persevere through whatever you're struggling with. Amen? It doesn't mean to be patiently waiting, uh, but it means to, to keep on pressing, to keep on moving forward, uh, to persevere. Uh, and it's important for the saints of God to persevere, Amen. to keep on moving forward. To don't not to be weary in well doing, for ye shall what reap, reap if you what. Thank so he's telling you don't faint, uh, don't faint, because if you just just stop moving, if you just stop doing, you're gonna get what weary, weary and weak as desert dust. Mm -hmm. Amen. The enemy will take you captive at his own will. Uh, so the saints of God, here we go. I feel the Holy Ghost. We've always got to be engaged. Yes. Uh, no matter how I feel, I got to be engaged. No matter what's going on, I got to be engaged. Uh, engaged with the Lord, engaged with the people of God. Yeah. Amen. No man is an island. Uh, so I got to persevere. No matter what's going on in my life, I got to persevere. We got to press our way through it. Amen. Amen. Punch your way through it. Uh, thank you, Lord. Y'all with me tonight? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, well, we ain't gonna go there. All right, thank you, Jesus. But, but, but we gotta, we gotta press our way through stuff. Amen. Amen. Uh, until we, until we get to the end of it, yeah. and then we shall reap a reward. Uh, you don't wanna, you don't wanna go to, to the middle of it and stop. Uh, will you get a reward? No, because you quit. Right. Amen. You gotta, you, you get it when you get to the end. Yes. Amen. Uh, some people eat their dessert. In the beginning of the meal. But you're supposed <laughs> yeah. to have it at the end of the meal. Right. You know, right. It's the cherry on the top. <laughs> wow. All right. Now notice what he said. Read that again. Be patient, therefore, brethren. Persevere, therefore, brethren. Until the coming of the Lord. Now notice what he says. Until Jesus comes. Yes. Huh? Until the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Be faithful unto death. Mm -hmm. Amen. Be faithful unto death. Unto the coming of the Lord. Yeah. All right, read. Behold, uh -huh. the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth. Now, he's saying here, the Lord is patiently waiting for you. Yeah. He's patiently waiting for us. Mm -hmm. Amen. True. And he's waiting for the fruit. You're the fruit. Mm -hmm. Read. And hath long patience for it. And hath long patience for it. Read. Until he receive the early and latter rain. Amen. Now, what he's referring to there is... is the growth and development in Jewish culture, and because you know they were farmers, and they, they waited for that rain to come in the spring so that they can, uh, uh, their plants could grow, amen? And then they waited uh, until after the harvest, they waited for the latter rain to come so it could prepare the ground so that they could have a harvest uh, in the spring. So those were two main times where they were, they were praying for rain. They needed yeah. rain. Amen. Amen. So he's telling us that there's, there's an urgency. Uh, the Lord is waiting uh, for, for, for us to mature and for us to grow. Uh, God is waiting for us to grow. Amen. Amen. He wants you to grow. Yeah. He's waiting for you to mature. Yeah. Question is, somebody say the question is, question is am I growing? Am I, uh, am I maturing? Uh, 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 I heard one brother say, uh, are we doing our part? Yeah. <laughs> uh, are we doing our part? Are we growing? Uh, am I being planted? Amen. And am I, am I allowing, now notice, here comes the rain. Am I allowing the Lord to refresh me uh, with the rain? Uh, am I allowing him to refresh me? Amen. Are you allowing him to refresh you? Amen. With the rain. Uh, are you, are you planted uh, and, and waiting? Uh, rain on me, Lord. Uh, refresh me uh, so I can grow. Amen. Hallelujah. Are we? 
That ain't where we at, but we got to move on. Where we at? Read. Verse 8. Uh, verse 8. Read. Be ye also patient. Uh-huh. Establish your heart. Uh-huh. For the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. Now notice, he said in verse 7, he said, be what? Patient. 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 So he's re-emphasizing it in verse number 8. Amen. He says what? Grudge not one. No, nope. verse number 8. Be ye pa also patient. See, now he's, he's, re he's restating it. Amen. So it's with emphasis. Amen. So we've got to be patient. We've got to endure. Amen. We can't, we can't give up. Can't give in. Can't throw in the towel. Am I right? Because the Lord is close. My brother. In dealing with that patience, uh, the scripture says, in your patience, you possess your soul. Possess your soul. And so it's a process. Yes. You know, you're steadily growing. You're steadily uh -huh. Possessing your soul. Yes. And, uh, making sure that you're going to be ready when Jesus comes. Yes. That's, isn't that the main thing? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's, isn't that the main thing? I'm serious here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the main thing. Be ready when, when Jesus, Jesus comes. Come. Yeah. Right. come hell or high water. I don't care how much humble pie I got to eat. <laughs> that's right. Uh, yeah. I want to be ready when, when Jesus, Jesus comes. Come. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Because that's worth it all. Right. Uh, am I right? Yes. Uh, there you go. I feel the Holy Ghost. Don't y'all feel the Holy Ghost? I feel the anointing. Huh? <laughs> Listen, I was just thinking a lot of times people try to knock you off your square. Right. You know? Intentionally. Yeah, intentionally. And yeah. you have to be wise enough to say, uh-uh. Uh huh. I ain't, ain't gonna go there. I ain't going there. Because I'm possessing my soul. Possessing my soul. I'm trying to be ready. Yes. And James taught about that. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, when you're facing opposition, be slow to speak, mm -hmm. swift right. to hear, yes. uh, and slow to wrath. Yeah. Uh, because the, the wrath of a man doesn't work the righteousness That's of God. Right. Right. Amen. So you can't, you can't allow people to get you off the square. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Don't allow situations to, to get you so frazzled mm -hmm. uh, that, that, that you're not trusting in God. Right. Amen. We right. should always trust in God. Yes. Amen. Uh, no matter how much pressure come upon us. Yes. Amen. Yes. I was thinking about that today when I was meditating on the scriptures uh, about the Bible study. No matter what comes our way, mm. the Lord is able to handle it. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Uh, oh, yes. He's equipped to handle it. In fact, if we walk by faith like Elder Tony was saying, he's already handled it. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. uh, oh, wow. he already knows what's coming. Yeah. He's already made a way yes, of escape. Uh, uh, so we amen. got, we got uh, as Bishop Mark, uh, Bishop Mark, Pastor Mark was saying, <laughs> you know, we are, we are greater than we think. Yes, right. uh, we're more powerful than we think. Right. Uh, uh, come on here, somebody. Right. You somebody. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. In Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 Uh, trials and tribulations and persecutions, doesn't matter. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God has already made a way. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. My Lord. Now notice, where we at? So verse 8, what does it say? Be ye also patient. Now be ye also patient. He said that twice. Be ye also patient. Persevere through it. Amen. Amen. Don't give up. Yes. Don't throw in the towel. Uh, don't lose hope. Don't lose your faith. Amen. Amen. Now notice, he said, be also patient. Be Establish your heart. Now what does that mean? Establish your heart. Set your heart. Set your heart. Amen. Mind made up. Let nothing, what? Separate me from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. So notice, notice what they did. They, 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 when I, when I said, what does that mean? Establish your heart. They started quoting scriptures. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So you got to establish your heart in the yeah. word of God. Yeah. Uh, be planted right. uh, yeah. in the word. The more word you know, the more established you are. Amen. Uh, am I right? Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Stop. Stop. Don't, uh, I like what, how Sister Gail put it sometimes. It's not what's on the surface that matters, but it's what's underneath. Yeah. Right. Amen. What's going on in underneath? Right. Huh? Hallelujah. What's going on underneath? Yes. Uh, what are you rooted to? Yes, what are you grounded to? Yes. Uh, what, what, what's your anchor? Yes. Huh? Do you have an anchor? Yes. Huh? Is your anchor holding and gripping the solid rock? Yes. Huh? And who's that rock? Jesus. 
That's it. Come on here, somebody. He said, blessed are he that heareth these sayings and doeth these sayings of mine. Right. Amen, my brother. I remember the message you preached. Uh huh. Roots run deep. Yeah, I remember that too. Yeah. <laughs> that was a powerful word. That was powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Roots run deep. Yeah. The deeper the root. The deeper the root. The deeper you establish. The deeper you establish. Amen. And that was a rhema word during that, yeah. during that service. We all knew. I, I looked your eyes so good. <laughs> <laughs> I knew when God gave it to you. Yeah. Your eyes just like, Rrr. Yeah. I was like, wow. Yeah. Amen. And, and that, the roots running deep. All the way in them 66 books. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Uh, we got to be rooted and established in the word of God. Yes. Because the storms of life, they come. Don't mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Can you stop a storm from coming? No. No, not at all. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And so, therefore, you got to prepare for the storm. Yes. Amen. Don't think the storm ain't coming. No matter who and how great you are, you're going to have a storm. Oh, yeah. Huh? You're going to have several storms. Huh? Thank you, Lord. And, and then I was I was uh, talking to one sister today. Thank you, Lord. And I was encouraging her heart. And I let her know. I said, you know, uh, you've been through several storms at one time. Mm -hmm. uh, so that show you how great you are in Christ. Right. Uh, thank right. you, Lord, how powerful the Lord is in your life. Yeah. Amen. And those storms didn't take you out. Because mm -hmm. uh, right. God was on your side. Yeah. Amen. Right. Come on, give God a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're stronger than you think. Yeah. <laughs> My brother? Yeah, when you said storm, um, I was looking back at a text a friend sent me, a spiritual word. And it says, uh, not all storms come to disrupt your life. Uh-huh. Some come to clear your path. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Purpose, reasons. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. So you got to survive it. Amen. You got to go through it. Amen. Why? Because the coming of the Lord draws nigh. Establish your heart. Amen. In the word of God. Don't be a fly by night. <laughs> My brother. That's just the only thing that's important is well done. Yeah. All right. Good. At the end of the test and the end of the trials. Yep. The only thing that's important is well done. Right. Good. How did you do with that test? Yes. Thank you, Lord. You want to hear well done. Well done. Thy good. Faithful servant. Amen. Any of you enjoy the Lord. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. You, you know, he reminded me, he reminded me of what Jesus was teaching. He said, if your eye offend thee, do what? He said, if your hand offend thee, cut it off. Because he said, it's better to enter in. That's right. Huh? Maimed and halt. Yes. Huh? <laughs> than, than to not enter in. Yes. Huh? So that tells you the severity. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and be to what extent we should go to to enter in. Yeah. Right. I need my eye. Yeah. I need my hand. Yeah. But, it, but if it's offending me that I can't make it in, uh, take it take off. Take it off. Mm. Now, now, he wasn't talking literal. I'm going to try to <laughs> Wow. Right. Right. Hit it on the block. <laughs> <laughs> so I did it. I was like, cut my hand off. Cut my eye. It's like me. No, he wasn't talking literal. Mm -hmm. But he was he was giving you an analogy mm -hmm. as to the extent, right. Right. Amen. amen. You follow me of the gravity, mm -hmm. uh, because once you make it in, you are gonna get a what? New, new body. Right. <laughs> Am I right? Oh, yeah. But the purpose is to make it in. Right. Amen. You know I love those uh, those races wherein uh, like individuals fall. It makes me cry. Individuals fall close to the finish line, and then somebody come up and scoop them up and help them struggle to the finish line. Right. right. You know, we should be doing that with our brothers and That's our right. sisters. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Right. If one of us yeah. fall, somebody should come alongside us. Yeah. Scoop me up. Scoop. Don't scoop me up. Don't let me, don't let me stay. Scoop me up. Uh, walk me to the finish line. Yeah. Um, and I thank you forever. <laughs> Yeah, that, that remind me of the, the of you, because I, I like I like movies. Uh, yeah. The military, if somebody gets shot, they yeah. get wounded. They they take that soul. They don't, they don't leave them. No, nope, they don't leave. Even them. if some of them be dead, dead, they still gonna take them. Take them. Yep. You know they no don't. Man they, they, yeah, they they won't leave them. Yep. My God. We should have that mentality. 
Right. Right. Amen. Amen. And I'm serious when yes. I say that. Right. We should have that mentality. The Bible teaches that mentality. Mm -hmm. uh, no man left behind. Right. Don't leave yes. your brother or sister behind. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Uh, Y'all with me tonight? Yeah. Uh, am I teaching tonight? Yeah. Uh, are, are, you, are we being good students tonight? Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, it's good stuff. Yeah. All right, read. Where we at? Verse 9. Uh -huh. No, finish verse 8. Uh -huh. Yeah, finish verse 8. Thank you. Be ye, be ye also patient. Uh -huh. Establish your heart. Yep. For the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. Because the coming of the Lord is coming. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's drawing nigh. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. All right, read. Grudge not one against another. All right, now, here we go. Now, he's changing now the, 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 the direction. He's, he's reminding us now not uh, to hold grudges against one another. Yes. You know why? No man left behind. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I, can't, I can't hold grudges yes, against you and help you at the same time. Yes, Amen. Amen. Right. If, I'm, if I'm holding a grudge against you, I'll leave you on the floor bleeding. Yes. I want to help you. I, I won't assist you. Right. And then I'll be out of the will of God. Yes. Uh, uh, then I'll be left behind. That's right. You follow me? Uh, so, so, so don't Hold grudges. Remember what he said? I believe it's chapter number four, uh, the second verse. He's talking about uh, when comes wars and fightings among you. <laughs> Thank you. And, 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 and we've got to uh, remember that, that that comes from uh, nasty attitudes, mm -hmm. anger. Yeah. He means upset with you. Yeah. Uh, if I'm upset with you, it's better for me to say, Monty, I'm upset with you. And Monty can say, why are you upset with me? I sure and I will. tell Monty why I'm upset with him. <laughs> right. Monty will say, I'm sorry, even if he ain't guilty. He'll say, I'm sorry, Frank. Yes, you sir. know, because we brother. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Right. And I say, well, thank you, brother. Huh? And, I, and I'll love him to death. You follow me? Yeah. You follow me? Yeah. Now we can move on. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Now, now, now I'm not holding a grudge against him. Right. Huh? I'm not upset. I'm not angry with him. Uh, because if you upset and angry and holding a grudge, you won't be able to do the will of God concerning him or her. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. That's one of the ways the enemy always gets us. Mm -hmm. He gets whole churches like that. Mm -hmm. He gets whole cities like that. Yeah. He gets whole uh, 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 nations like that. Yeah. Uh, states. He gets them fighting against one another. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. The worst battle you can have where you'll lose a lot of casualties is a civil war. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on here, somebody. Right. Well, let's not have a civil war in the church. Yes, oh. Amen. Yeah, no. Let's get it together. Bishop, that conversation should stay between y'all two. Yep, that's true. I'm glad you said that. Mm -hmm. Amen. It should stay between you two. Yes. And not everybody else here about it. Nope. Nope. Ain't no sense in it. That's right. Am I right? It just right. keeps the thing going. Keeps it going. Amen. That's that's what the enemy wants. He wants yeah. us to keep it going. He wants yeah. to keep mess going. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Amen. He doesn't, uh, the enemy wants us all to be news reporters. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he wants us to be wrong. He wants us all to be a news reporter. Talking Amen? Right. Talking Thank right. you, Lord. Uh, but we Talking can't right. be that. No. Carol, Carol Pellin. God, no, we can't be that. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. All right, where we at? Where we at? We got. I got thirty minutes. Verse nine. Uh huh. Grudge not one against another. All right. Don't hold grudges against your brother or your sister. Lest you now, be now hold on. Let me say this, so so we understand. That's a command. Amen. Amen. It's not a suggestion. Right. All right. Read. Brethren, uh -huh. lest you be condemned. Uh -huh. This condemnation comes upon you. And, and and this condemnation can be moment, momentary or it can be eternal. Mm -hmm. wow. Depends true. on how long I'm holding it. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's important for me not to be upset or angry with you. Notice what he said. Be angry, but what? Sin, Sin not. not. Amen. It's important for me to deal with my anger to deal with my hurt, my pain, because we're going to offend one another. Yeah. Sure. Am I right? Yeah. That, why? Because we're close. Yeah. Amen. Uh, you with me? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. But we cannot <laughs> hold it 
against one another because that stops the progress. It hurts our prayers. It destroys the unity. When people come in, we got visitors that may come in, they can sense hostility. Yes, they can. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Huh? Don't you read the room? Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Hey, when you go in the I go, I read the room. <laughs> I want to know where to sit, where not to sit. Right. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I'm right. watching. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, My brother. Bishop, when does it go from momentary, I mean, short term to eternal? Well, when I'm, when I'm holding until my death pay, then it goes to eternal. Yes. Yeah. Yep, yep, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Wow. My God, keep forbid it go. So, so, so huh? That'll block you out of heaven. Boy. That's what we're talking about. That's where the combination is. Wow. It'll block you, stop you. That's, what, that's why it's important. Amen. What we teach you. Amen. Amen. Don't hold grudges. And it's better to let it go. Let it go. Yes. Let it go. Yes. Amen. Yes. Let it go. Yes, it's not that, it's not that uh, serious. Hey, that's yeah. what I want. Not that serious. Right. Amen. Now, now, let me say this. Let me say this. It's not good for any of us to be disrespected. Amen. I don't want to be disrespected. No. I'm sure you don't want to be disrespected, right? No. So, so our job is not to disrespect one another. Amen. Amen. Right. Uh, but it's also our job, you know, to... If somebody has disrespected you, to go to that brother, to go to that sister, mm -hmm. huh? and let them know so that there won't be that wedge. Mm -hmm. right. huh? mm -hmm. You follow me? Mm -hmm. Can I can I get healed if I'm carrying around hurt all the time? Yeah. No. no, people don't get healed that way. You get right. healed by talking about it. Yeah. Amen. Right. Come on here, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quiet on me. Uh, talk, right. Call your brother. Call your sister. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Talk about it. Yeah. And don't don't try to limp over it. Yes, huh? Don't mm -hmm. try to limp over it. Don't try. You hurt. You wounded. You, you all hurt. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, nah. Now be free. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, be free. Let that go. Be free. Right. 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 Be free. Right. 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 Talk to your brother. And now, 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 all of y'all here hearing the same lesson. So. Y'all know how to respond when your brother or sister come talk to you. Mm -hmm. uh, right, right. To grip them up in love. Man, I didn't right. mean that. Right. Uh, if you did mean it, I, well, don't say you didn't mean it. Say, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> say, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, man. Thank mm -hmm. you, Lord. Right. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What's he going to say? I need to grab my thought. Oh, okay. <laughs> Amen. All right. So he says, grudge not against one another, brethren. Lee she be what? Condemned. 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 Read. Behold, the judge standeth before the door. Now notice, we're talking about Jesus, uh, the righteous judge. Uh, he's standing before the, ju the door, uh, ready to pronounce judgment upon you. Uh, but notice there's a door there. Yeah. It's a barrier. Yeah. And that door means he's giving you opportunity to get it right. Yeah. Uh, so get it right yeah. before he comes in. Amen. Wow. Amen. Amen. Get it right. Mm. Uh, love your brother. Love your sister. Amen. 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 Wow. Uh, intimacy is relationship. Right. We should be intimate with one another. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I ain't talking about sexuality no. or sexualism. Right. Amen. But intimate with one another. Right. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and that intimacy brings about a caringness. It brings yeah. about a lovingness. Right. Amen? Amen. Thank you. And it's in its in its healing. In its in its yes, deliverance. It mm -hmm. Amen. Wow. When when the day that uh 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 Ella Lois uh I was uh, the enemy was beating me down huh, like a dead dog. Mm -hmm. and, and 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 she came down from the pulpit and just said, Brother I love you. Uh, mm -hmm. There was no uh, uh, sexuality with that, no. uh, mm -hmm. but it was an intimacy that healed me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I said, oh my God, this, this saintly woman uh, uh, cares about this dirty dog me. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I, must, I must be somebody. Yeah. Uh, and that helped me. Yes. Uh, that helped me. That delivered me in that moment. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It makes it yeah. makes a difference. It does. It does. Huh? I, I'm trying to teach you tonight. Yeah. It makes a difference. We ought to love one another. Yeah. 
and we ought to express our love one to another. Yes. Does, does God express his love toward us? Yes, he does. Huh? Now I'm going to say it again. Does God express his love toward us? Yeah. How often? All Every day. Every day. All, all day. All huh? No matter what time of the day. Yeah. Even when I'm dead and sinking in sin, he's still expressing his love. That's right. Yeah. Huh? When, I'm too wrong, when I'm wrong as two left shoes, yeah. he's still expressing yeah. his love. Yeah. Ought not we do the same? Yeah. Ought not we yeah. been made in his image sure. and in his likeness? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Come on! Oh, yeah. Come on. Uh -huh. we, should we should be shouting right now. Yeah. Holy yeah. Ghost yeah. should be falling right now. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Thank right. goodness. This ain't time to think about what I'm saying. It's time to accept yeah. what I'm saying. Because you know it's true. Yeah. Huh? It's true. <laughs> huh? It's true. Mm -hmm. huh? Huh? So, so whatever, you know, is going on, whatever is, 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 has happened, whatever is yet to happen, yeah. you know, now you know how to respond. Yeah. Sure. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. You, you've been equipped now. Mm -hmm. right? Right. You ought to give God a praise for that. Yeah. You've been equipped. You, you exposed to, yeah. to the truth. Yeah. Amen. So now you just got to practice it. Am I right? Yeah. All right, read. Here we at? Verse uh, 10. All right, verse number 10, what does it say? Take, my brethren, the prophets uh -huh. who have spoken in the name of the Lord yes. for an example of suffering affliction uh -huh. of patience. Now notice, now there's that word patience again. Mm -hmm. So he said it a, a third time. Mm -hmm. yes. So, so and, and my brother, he quoted the scripture of why he's saying, in your patience, you what? Possess, Possess your soul. soul. You have control over your soul. Yeah. God is after your soul. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Your body's going to perish. Yeah. Your spirit is going to go back up to heaven. Yeah. Your human spirit. Yeah. Uh, but where... Uh, I was going to say in the ham and cheese is your, is your soul going to spend eternity uh, where, where? Uh, that's the key amen so you got to possess it to, to direct it in the right direction amen how do you possess it Ooh, that's a good question how do you possess it uh, sanctification walking in the word uh, living out the word being obedient to the truth being rooted and grounded to the truth and 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 being not a, a forgetful hearer of the word but a what a doer. A, doer. a doer amen that man or that woman shall be blessed in all their deeds mm -hmm. am i right yeah. all right now notice what he said what verse we in 11. verse 11 read that again oh 10 again oh yeah read 10 again take my brethren the, oh. prof the prophets yes who have spoken in the name of the lord for an example of suffering affliction and of patience. Now, the prophets, they, they suffered before us. Notice, we ought to think of them as an example of suffering what? Affliction. Affliction. So you know that anybody that tells you that holiness is not hard is lying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Huh? It's affliction in there. Right. Huh? You're going to be afflicted. Mm -hmm. You're going to suffer. Huh? Didn't your Lord Jesus suffer? Yes. Yes. Didn't he? Wasn't he afflicted? Yes. Huh? Thank you, Lord. So, so that doesn't exempt us. Amen. But we have to prepare ourselves for it. Am I right? Yes. Hallelujah. All right, read. End of patience. Yeah. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Now notice, notice. We, we, we count them happy. Uh, blessed. That word there, happy, means blessed. We count them blessed that do what? Endure. Endure that go through it. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yes. We don't count them blessed that fall by the wayside. No. Uh, that give up. Right. That throw in the towel. Yes. Uh, so it should not be any quit in you. No, uh, no giving up in you. Yes. Uh, am I right? right. No yes. turning back in you. No. Uh, don't, don't be a jelly back. Don't be weak. Uh, no. You follow me? Yeah. Build yourself up. Right. Uh, don't surrender. Don't throw in the towel. Right. Uh, if the devil get one over on you, on you what should you do? Repent. Uh, get back up. Uh, fight back. You follow? 
Y'all with me tonight? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, my God, I feel like Rocky tonight. <laughs> huh? Bye. Rocky, Rocky take a beat and he get back up. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Oh, you got to get back up. Huh? Stuff, stuff may come against your life. You may feel it's too hard for you to bear, oh, which it is. Yes. Huh? So you got to turn it over to Jesus. Yeah. Huh? You can't bear all this stuff on your own. That's right. huh? You got to come to the Lord. Right. Yeah. Huh? You got to come to your brother or sister. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. oh, come yeah. on Amen. here. Yeah. Huh? We, 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 yeah. He said, bear your burden. Bear your own burden. Then he said, bear one another's burden. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Right. We got to yeah. bear each other's burden. That's right. Yeah. Huh? That's right. Thank yeah. you. I see you going through. I should just turn. Notice what James said. He said, you see your brother naked, destitute. How can you tell him, be ye warm and fed? Huh? And, 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 and not give them what they need. That's right. Huh? Didn't James teach you that? Right. Huh? So if I come to you, I say, Glenn, Glenn, I need help. Huh? Glenn's supposed to say, what you need help with, brother? And I tell Glenn, Glenn, in, in confidence, that he won't tell everybody. That's right. Glenn, I need such and such and such. Huh? And if Glenn has it in his power to help me, he should help me. Amen. Yeah, sure. Amen. Amen. Yes, huh? right. Don't turn me away. Amen. Help me. Right. And don't evil surmise me. Well, if I give it to him, he's just going to go out and do evil with it. Mm. That ain't your place. Ain't your business, right? huh? Help your brother. Help your sister. Yeah. Huh? Uh, so sing that song. I'm yours, Lord. Everything, everything I, I am, everything, I everything I'm not. Uh -huh. Then he said, what? Try, try me now. now. See. <laughs> see if I can be completely, completely. Yeah. So try the brother. Mm -hmm. uh, try the sister. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See if they can be completely God's. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. All right, who had the hand up? It's my hand up. All right, go ahead and read. Where we at? 11. Uh-huh. Behold, we count them happy which endure. All right, now, now. We count them happy that go through. Mm -hmm. uh, God, God, God gets happy when you go through. Right. Uh, when you trust in him. Mm -hmm. uh, am I right? Yeah. Uh, and, and, and I'm going to be honest with you. Me as your pastor, I get happy too. Mm -hmm. When I see you go through it, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's not a good feeling watching you go through it. Mm -hmm. But rest assured, I'm rooting you on. I'm encouraging you. Right. And when I see you go through it and come out pure as gold, mm -hmm. my God, that, that makes me happy. Sure, yeah. uh, it makes the ecclesia happy. Yeah, it yeah. should make the whole church happy. Yeah. Right. Uh, we should all be happy. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. First lady. Oh, amen. See, the amen get out there. First lady get happy. <laughs> all right, read. Ye have heard of the patience of Job. Now you've heard of the patience of Job. Job went through something, didn't he? Yes, he did. I read. And I've seen the end of the Lord. Uh, now, and, and, and what he means by that is uh, uh, the end of Jesus. Yes. Uh, it was pitiful, the Bible says. It was pitiful. Yeah. Read. That the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Mm. But above all things, my brethren, uh -huh. swear not. Uh -huh. Neither by heaven, yes. nor neither by the earth, uh -huh. neither by any other oath. Now, now here, once again, I say he, he's recapping everything that he taught. Mm -hmm. So he's telling you not to swear. Don't don't swear by heaven. Don't swear by the earth or by anything. Mm -hmm. Just let your yea be yea and your nay be nay. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Just do what you said you're gonna do. That's yes. it. Yes. Amen. Right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Keep it simple. Kiss. Amen. <laughs> Keep it simple, saying. <laughs> All right. But let your yea be yea and your nay be nay. Uh huh. Lest ye fall into condemnation. Yes, read. Because your words mean something. Yes. Huh? Your word is your bond. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Don't say you're going to do it, then back out. Right. Uh, now, we know that we human things happen. But don't say it uh, if you don't intend to do it. Right. Amen? Oh, that's real. Is any among you <laughs> afflicted? Now, here we go. Here we go with the prayer. If, if, if any among you afflicted, that affliction means either physical 
or spiritual? Mm -hmm. Amen. Physical or spiritual affliction? Mm -hmm. huh? Or it could be financial. Mm -hmm. huh? Whatever. Yeah. Affliction. Right? Mm -hmm. The afflictions that we have in life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. All right, read. If any of you are afflicted, let him pray. Now notice, you ought to do what? Pray. You ought to do what? Pray. 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 Instead of murmuring and complaining, pray. you ought to do what? Pray. pray. Instead of saying, woe is me, you ought to do what? Pray. Huh? Instead of crying and weeping mm -hmm. and, 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 and saying, I'm going to give up, I'm going to throw in the towel. You ought to do what? Pray. pray. Amen. Pray. Read. Is any Mary? Now if you're happy. Huh? Let him sing song. Right, then sing you a song. Amen. Rejoice. <laughs> Give thanks <laughs> unto right. the Lord. Right. So what is that little scripture they're telling you? Right there. If you if you're afflicted, pray. If you're happy, sing. What is it telling you? Saying, um, once you pray, don't worry. Don't worry about it. Have faith. I'm going to well, do it. Well, you can do that. But, it, but, <laughs> but it's, it's telling you something. Huh? All you going through, keep, you should never leave God out. Right. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's right. <laughs> Whatever state you in, you should be acknowledging the Lord. Yes. This is not a suggestion, but it's a command. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. God wants to be intimate with you. Yeah. Right. Huh? Yeah. Huh? We ought to be intimate with God sure. to share everything with Him. Yes. Huh? My hurt, I'm sharing it with God. My joy, I'm sharing with God. Yes. Huh? And all in between, I'm sharing it with God. Yes. Huh? Amen. Huh? Y'all with me? Yeah. All right. Now, is that is that a biblical? Uh, truth in the Bible. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. All right, read. Is, is any sick among you? Uh -huh. Let him call for the elders of the church. Now notice what he said. If you sick, you call for the elders. Mm -hmm. huh? The elders shouldn't, shouldn't be calling on you. <laughs> you should call the elders. Because you sick. Huh? You sick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because the elders may not know you sick. Right. Huh? So you, if you want to get help, call on the elders. Let them know. Hey, I'm sick. Right. right. Huh? I'm sick. Call on the elders. Read. Read. And let him and let him pray over him, uh -huh. anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Now notice, see how prayer. How, how, I'm gonna show you how powerful prayer is. And in the beginning, remember I said that. I, said, I forget exactly what I said, but no, no man left behind. Right. Mm -hmm. Help one. Reach one, help one. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're helpers of one another. Mm -hmm. Notice, if you sit, the Lord said, um, uh, call for the elders. Mm -hmm. The elders then respond uh, to go to you wherever you are, anoint you with oil uh, in the name of Jesus, and do what? Pray, pray over you. Pray. Pray over you. Mm -hmm. Pray. Pray over you. Read. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. Now notice, the prayer of faith shall save you, shall deliver you. Mm -hmm. uh, now that's that's according to the will of God. Mm -hmm. right. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, it shall save you. It shall deliver you. Yes. That shows you uh, how much God honors prayer. Mm -hmm. uh, that shows you how much God honors the elders. Huh? Come on here, somebody. Right. Now, now, what if I ain't got no confidence in none of my elders? Mm. You're going to be sick. Shout out. Huh? Yeah, you messed up. You're going to be messed up. Yeah. That sickness going to linger on. Yeah. I take you out. Huh? We're in, you know, because there's, there's people. Because I'm going to, can I be honest? Can we oh, yeah. be honest? Lord, yes, I, wish, I wish I wasn't on camera. Huh? But, but, but you know, I've heard people say, Pastor, I don't have confidence. I'm like, you messed up. That's what I tell them. You messed up. Mm -hmm. huh? I don't hold my tongue on that. Because that's serious. Right. Huh? Yeah. You messed up. You got to get yourself right. Right. Huh? You ain't got confidence in the ministry. You are messed up. Huh? Because you are losing out on your help. 
Yeah. Uh, that's serious business. Yes, it is. Uh, there's two things I'm serious about. <laughs> uh, but I'm serious about that. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Because he gave some. Uh, yeah. For the perfecting of the saints, for the working of the ministry. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, some pastors, some evangelists, some elders, yeah. some pastors and teachers. Yes. Uh, some apostles and prophets. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. So, so, so if you want help, mm -hmm. call for the elders and the prayer of faith. They'll anoint you and they shall deliver you. Amen. I read. And the Lord shall raise them up. And the Lord shall do what? Raise, raise you up. Read. And if he have committed sin. Now, if you committed any sin. They shall be forgiven. Be it shall be what? Forgiven. Don't you want your sins forgiven? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I want my sins to forgive. Yeah. Sure. Now, he's also connected. Some sicknesses are related to sin. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. A lot of them. A lot of them. He said a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Huh? Huh? I only, I only read scripture one time when the blind man, he said, Jesus, was this man born for who sinned? This man or, or his parents? Huh? Right. And Jesus said, none of this is this for the glory of God. Right. Huh? But, but there's sicknesses that are related to sin. Yes. Taking communion unworthily. Yeah. Huh? Is re and you get sick. Huh? It's related to sin. Right. Yeah. Huh? You follow me? Some Amen. sicknesses are related to sin. Mm -hmm. Amen? So call for the elders, let them pray for you. This is the formula to help us. And we should be rejoicing and be happy. Yeah. Uh, and notice, uh, uh, the reason why, this is one of the reasons why I said we should be intimate with one another so I can feel comfortable and confident to come to you because I know you care for me. Uh, you've shown that you love me. Mm -hmm. huh? And I've shown that I love you. Mm -hmm. And I know, I know you. Huh? Come on. Yeah. See, now y'all got right. No, you right. That's uh, it. I know, That's you, it. I know you don't want to harm me. That's it. Huh? Right. That's huh? it. Huh? Man. That's it. It makes a difference. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I was, um, you know, my wife, we've been married for 34 years, right, honey? <laughs> okay, thank you, Lord. And uh, that was that was we was going. I, I don't know. I won't say we, but I was going through something in the marriage uh, with no evil, with no sin. Right. So I can help you all out. You know, it's just my own thoughts, my own mind. And I, and, and my wife supported. Mm -hmm. And I thought about that. I ain't never told her this. This is the first time she's hearing it. I said to myself, I said, now this woman loved me. Right. Uh, 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 she loved me. Uh, that, 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 that confirmed things. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Uh, ain't, that, ain't that a beautiful thing? Beautiful. That's a beautiful, beautiful. thing. That's beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Beautiful. Amen. Amen. Uh, any of y'all, any of y'all experience that? Oh yeah. Uh, times when you were with somebody, yeah. and 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 they was on your side. Amen. Uh, you said, I know you love me. Right. Uh, good feeling. Mm -hmm. uh, so we should come to that with each other, where we know we love one another. Yeah. My brother got his hand up. He just messing with me. Okay. All right, read. Sixteen. Uh huh. Confess your faults one to another. Now notice, he said confess your faults. That word faults there, I really looked it up. It really means sin. Mm -hmm. Huh? It means that. Yeah. Not, not my mistakes. Mm -hmm. It means right. sin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, confess your sins to who? One another. One, that's why we got to be intimate with one another. He didn't say confess them to the pastor. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, he said one to another. Mm -hmm. uh, so I should be able to go to Glenn and say, Glenn, I sinned, blah, blah, blah. Pray with me. Pray for me. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. See now, I'm, uh, what? Yeah. I'm messing some of y'all up. <laughs> huh? He said, confess your faults one to another. No, that's true, Bishop, because that, all, that only, not only helps the person you're praying for, but it helps you keep your life straight. Yep, absolutely. Because you never know when someone's going to come to you and say, hey, pray for me. Right. 
What you gonna tell her? I can't pray for you, right. man. I need you to pray for me. Yep, we a body. Yeah. We're a body of believers. Amen. Yep. Yeah. So so we gotta live something, don't we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotta live right. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Now I, I I'm checking your fruit. Your fruit don't look good. Huh? But now uh, uh, So then what do you do? Go to the pastor? Yeah, you come to the pastor. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Always you can always come to the pastor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lord. But but the scripture's saying, I'm talking about what the scripture's saying. Mm -hmm. uh, go to one another. Mm -hmm. right. Be strong amongst one another. Mm -hmm. right. Be strong in the herd. Right. Be strong among the flock. Yeah. Right. Amen. So the flock can be strong. Yes. Right. Amen. Now, now what kind of sin could be committed <laughs> that you go one to another? Any sin. You talking about any sin? You just say sin. That's mm -hmm. any fault. You just say sin. Like backbiting or, or oh yeah, that's sin. Backbiting, mm -hmm. sin, uh, all sin. Yeah. yeah. All any any transgression of the word of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Right. All sin, all sin, all sin. There's only one sin that you can't pray for, and that's to call it the sin unto death. Huh? And that's that's a sin wherein an individual is habitual. And they won't turn. Mm. They won't. They won't repent. Yeah. Unrepentant type of person yeah. that that's habitually doing what they do, are doing and won't turn. Mm. That's a sin unto death. Why is that a sin unto death? Because they won't turn. Mm. They, they won't too. repent. They won't do it to They death. won't turn. Wow. They won't repent. Mm -hmm. huh? But what about blasphemy? Blasphemy? Mm -hmm. That uh, 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 is that's, that, is that, that a sin it, that you can't? Yeah, if you, you repent, be, you can't be forgiven. If you repent, you can be forgiven. Now, that's 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 a that's a that's a major one, huh? And and Jesus, he he talked about that, huh? He said, if you blaspheme against the Holy Ghost, you're in big trouble. You can't be forgiven. Yeah, yeah. Now Paul said, I did it ignorant. So there is some wiggle room in there, huh? Yeah, they do it ignorant. Right. Huh? Hold on, Lord. Now, see, you know, we teach it now. Mm -hmm. huh? but, but the key is, we should be spiritually strong enough huh? and mature enough and intimate enough sure. where I can feel comfortable to go to you, mm -hmm. right. say, hey, I'm struggling with this. Mm -hmm. right. Pray with me. Pray for me. Mm -hmm. Amen? That's what he's teaching. Right. Huh? Right. You follow me? Mm -hmm. Huh? Y'all with that? Yes, sir. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey! Go ahead. Amen. Uh, and another good thing about uh, being able to confess your sins one to another. Sometimes the same thing you confessing to might help the other person. They say, "Me too." Mm -hmm. <laughs> to, you know, right. it may be it may be something that right. can mm -hmm. both y'all can help each other. Help each other. So mm -hmm. that's true. Now, see what he just said was in the commentary when I was studying this. Uh, that there's there's things that we we all struggle with. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So we, we pray one for another. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We're helpers one to another. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I'm going to pray for him and then he's going to turn around and pray for me. For the same thing. Well, no, he ain't talking about that. He ain't talking about that. He talking about, about we all, we, in, in our struggles, yes. in our fights, <laughs> you know, Y'all gonna make me go, I'm anger. over my time. <laughs> yeah. We struggle, we fight. Yes. Uh, pray for one another. Yes. Amen. You, you understand me, don't you, God? All right. Yes. Uh, you understand me, don't you, D? Amen. Pray for one another. Amen. Help one another. Don't be afraid to go to Elder Crosby and say, hey. It's power in these hands. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! See how big they is. I'm going to leave that. Come on. Cover <laughs> your whole head. Come on. Don't be afraid. Ooh. All right, read. Confess your faults one to another. Confess one to another. And pray one for another. Now pray one for another. That you may be healed. That you may be what? Healed. healed. Now if you do it, 
regardless of how you feel about it, you do it in faith, you're going to be healed because you're obeying the scripture. Sure. Amen. If you don't do it, you're going to be stuck. Forever. Forever. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, that's true. Am I right? Yeah. I'm messing with some of y'all theology. I know it. <laughs> that's not right. That's what Bible, that's what Bible class is for. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Get your theology messed up. <laughs> then you'll search the scriptures yourself. Right. right. Huh? Am I right, Shaniqua? Yeah. I know. I see you get a little, little tired of that one. Come on. You good? All right. Come on, come on, read. The effectual fervent prayer of now, a righteous now, man. Now, now he said, the, the, what is effectual? From the heart. From the heart. Mm -hmm. Amen. And fervent. Mm -hmm. huh? I'm calling on Jesus. Huh? Yeah. Effectual. And then, and I like that one. What's the last one? Fervent. Fervent. Prayer of the, a righteous man. Effectual, that means it, it produces results. Availeth much. Availeth much. Huh? Be righteous. Be holy. Yeah. Amen. Live a righteous life. Yeah. So when, when your brother or sister come, like she just said, but when your brother or sister come for you, for you to help them, you ain't, ah, well, brother, ah, my yeah. life lagging it too. Mm. Huh? Oh, no, you live a righteous life. Mm -hmm. Amen. You live in something. That's right. Yeah. That's the key. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. I got a problem with alcohol. I want to go to Sister Gail house and see all this Hennessy and uh, Budweiser. And I'm going to say, pray for me, sister. Uh, She's going to say, well, uh, I'll right. pray for you, but we're going to have a drink break. Right. Right. <laughs> uh, live something. Live something. Yes, Lord. Huh? Yes, Lord. Live something. <laughs> Amen. Stomach. Go ahead. We about done. Stomach sake. Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are. Uh huh. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. Yes. And it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. Now he's telling you that because you have power with God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Your prayers have power with God. Amen. Amen. That's why he tells you to pray. Read. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain. Huh? He prayed again, and heaven gave her rain. Read. And the earth brought forth her fruit. Read. Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth. Now here it is. Now notice. Notice. I said, help your brother. Help your sister. Don't leave them behind. You see them in trespassing and sin. Huh? Don't just say, well, that's them. Huh? Don't. We ain't supposed to do that. Uh, amen? amen? I see him in error. Amen. I ain't supposed to just leave you alone. No. What's the amen. word for that? It's called uh, cow. Oh, that is accountability. <laughs> uh, let's be accountable one to another. Amen? amen? amen. I know if, if, I, if I was naked, I would want you to come tell me. Mm -hmm. Pastor, you naked. Mm -hmm. Amen? amen. I won't get upset with you. And if you ended up, I did. Tell me. Amen. Amen. I, was out, I was out in public uh, yesterday. We was having a, a dinner. We used some other pastors and some spiritual leaders. And I had something on my face. I didn't know it. The brother hit me. He said, huh? I took the napkin, wiped it off. He made sure I got it. Mm -hmm. huh? He said, yeah, that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Who was happy? I was happy. He was happy too. Huh? Yeah, he was absolutely. Happy for you. Absolutely. Get it, bro. Get it. Oh. Huh? He should be. So if we if we see our brother and sister, if we have a more accountability to help one another. Yes, sir. Not to judge one another. Mm -hmm. uh, but to help. Right. Right. Amen. Wouldn't it be a strong church? If we were intimate with one another, love one another. I ain't talking about I like you. I'm talking about I love you. Yes. Uh, wouldn't it be a strong church? Yes. Huh? The devil couldn't do the Thank things you. he do in the church. The church is tired of Amen. Yes. What if we all had our last name love? Uh, wouldn't that be wonderful? <laughs> <laughs> Yep, it is big enough. <laughs>
Because here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth. If you do err from the truth. And one convert him. Now I, I convert you. Read. Let him know. Let him know. Hey, that brother. He which converted the sinner from the error of his way. Uh -huh. Shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. Now, now because I helped convert you. I saved you from death, and I hid a multitude of sin mm -hmm. under the blood of Jesus. Oh, you, See, now he happy. He said, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Amen? That's why we should pray for one another. That's why we should be helpers one for another. Amen? That's why our, my relationship with you is important. Right. And your relationship with each other is important. Yes, Amen? Amen? All right. Go ahead, bro. That's what Jesus did for Peter. What did he do? <laughs> he said, Satan has desired to have you. Yes. To sift you as weak. Yes. He said, but don't worry about it. I already prayed for I you. I prayed for you. Uh -huh. He yes. said, and after you've strengthened, yes. after you've been converted, go yes. strengthen, your, strengthen brother. your brother. Amen? Yes. Hallelujah. All right. Let the church stand. We already took the offering. Uh, Elder Corey, can you turn off that? Yes. Amen. I don't know. Uh, KK, do you know?